y bienvenido a Styling Your Lipstick. La pinta labio que tengo puesto para este video es by Fenty Beauty and it's called Thick. Unboxing my new Mew Mew Studded Boots. Get into it, bitches. Ah, confession, I already wore them. I know, I couldn't wait the minute I get something new in my freaking wardrobe, in my hands, at the door, wherever, I'm on it like a hawk. I've been wanting these boots for quite a while. They're by Mew Mew. Mew Mew is ridiculous in prices, of course. Anything that Daisy loves has to be expensive. And you know, I don't need it to be designer. I wish it wasn't designer, actually. So that it wouldn't be so expensive and it would be more accessible for Daisy. I'm thinking big. I just happen to have expensive taste. Honestly, I, I, I don't really like that. But it just so happens everything I love always ends up being expensive. Yay me. All right, so these are the Mew Mew studded boots. These are some badass freaking boots. They're punk boots. I wanted to get something flat because I've noticed that I'm getting a lot more flat lately because where the hell are we going? And I have plenty of heels in my collection that are waiting for when one, I feel better and two, the pandemic is over and frolic around this beautiful world of ours. I have nothing like this in my collection and I knew that this is something I'm going to put to use and I have already put them to use because I, like I said, I couldn't wait. I got these for $3.24, I believe. And hold up, I know it's expensive. I saved a long time for these. Like I said, I've been wanting them. And I knew they were gonna go on sale. I just knew it because when it's not a hot fire type of shoe, I know it's gonna go on sale eventually. I'm just very patient. That's the thing with me. You have to be patient and then you'll get it. I got them and I'm in love with them. So a few things about them, they're very stylish. It's that punk boot that we're seeing everywhere. They're super comfortable. I'm a standard size nine. I got these by Italian website from Milan. I will write it down on my description box below. This one runs slightly narrow. Another thing is that here it's a little bit loose, which is fine. That's the look of it, but it just makes noise when you're walking. It has like a rubbery sound, but it's leather. And it's just because the ample space that's going on here. And then when you walk and the air coming in and out just creates that sound, but it's nothing loud. Nothing obnoxious, it's just like sometimes you, when you wear heels, they make noise, right? So it's kind of like the same effect. Other than that, they're beautiful, they're comfortable, they're rugged, they're not heavy. You would think they're heavy. They're like a standard, regular boot. Most boots have a kind of a weight to them. I didn't notice anything bizarre when I wore them. This part here, you think it would be added weight, but it's, I think it's more like for a show because there's nothing weighted about it. Once you touch it, you can feel like it's almost like thin, airy type of thing. It's not really like heavy metal. Mew Mew is ridiculous with their prices and scoring this for 324, I was going to get it. It's because I sign up and I wait. I'm very patient when it comes to it. And then I know I end up getting some beautiful things that they he truly loves. They're beautiful. So yeah, let me show you how I'm gonna rock these bitches, which are already rocking. This is the first outfit. I love it. It's comfortable. It's like 10 degrees outside today in New York City. So this is perfect. These pants are just jeans and they have like this side panel with like sparkles and spice scotch and soda. This is a extra big fluffy blue sweater that I love. It's so cozy, knitted, and thick. Perfect for today. I need the beanie to protect me from the elements outside. But these boots are perfect because if you're wearing thin, skinny jeans, they fit into it perfectly. You don't have to worry about the tugging here a lot. And they're just nice and loose and compact. I find them super smart, and comfortable, and so chic. I know this is a vibe. It's not going to be for everybody, but I'm obsessed with them. I have nothing like it in my wardrobe. I think it's chic. It's very European, but also New York, like downtown New York chic. A little bit more fashion forward. This is something that I would highly recommend. This is the second outfit. This is another way of how I would wear these boots. So you can get a visual and see how they really look together and it's element, grounded. I love the fact that they have such a punk vibe. It just lends a different type of vibe to my wardrobe that I don't have. I don't have anything punk and especially with studs and really hardcore like that. 
I think it's it makes it even more special and mm. warm. Of course, I wanted to take that and run with it and just give it more of a fun of a vibe. I paired it with this skirt that otherwise would be conservative. I bought this skirt over 15 years ago for a corporate job that I had at the time. And I never find myself wearing it unless I'm going to make it look different. And of course, this is a way I can incorporate it. This is going to be a big thing for spring. Flowy, knee-length, flouncy type of skirt. I paired it up with this little sweater because it has the cutouts and the show-stopping part of the sweater is on the back. As you can see, and this just adds to the punk goth vibe that I'm loving right now. I love this outfit. I wanted to just give myself a little spring love with exposing a little bit of skin. Thank you for watching.